Hi everyone, welcome to your Zoom tutorial. So you just go to Google and type the word Zoom. Follow the link. This takes you to the Zoom web page. Now let's see, you can use Zoom from your desktop, for our conference rooms and for mobile devices. And let's just look at the plan. For the basic free Zoom plan, you can host up to 100 video participants, have unlimited number of meetings, unlimited one-to-one -one meetings, and 40 minutes limit on group meetings. But I will show you later how you can get around the 40 minutes thing and actually start your meeting from scratch again. So there is no need to actually upgrade to $15 a month. So what you need to do anyway, is you need to sign up if it's your first time here, you sign up and it's free. All you have to do is enter your work email address and click sign up. You will then have to click a link in your work email address. And after all that is done, Zoom will automatically download onto your laptop. Okay, so let's just imagine now that we've gone through the whole sign in, sign up, and now we're going to sign in. Okay. So as you see, my details are already here because I have used it already. So I'm signing in. And this takes us to the profile. It's up to you whether you put a picture or not. There's nothing really you have to do with this profile except here. This is your personal meeting ID. Everyone will be given one. And later on, I will tell you how to use this to invite students to your meeting. So that's basically your profile. So I'm just going to sign out of that now. And as I said, once you go through all that process, the Zoom icon like this down here will be installed on your computer. So once you click that Zoom icon on your computer, you can go to the Home tab here. And what you need to do is you need to schedule a meeting for your students or a class. Okay, so the things you need to fill in the name, the date that you want to have your class and the time. Let's just say, for example, we want to do one now later on. OK. OK, fine. And we will just say it will be one hour and 30 minutes. But as you see here, your Zoom basic plan has a 40 minute time limit. But I will show you how to get around that later. Now, there are other things you need to tick are Meeting ID, use your personal meeting ID for inviting students. Make sure you the host your video is on and that your students participants video is on. And audio, you can just click it to telephone and computer audio and you don't have to worry about this down here. And all you can do then is click schedule. Okay, this will start churning. Don't worry about that. You just close that and close that. Okay. So now the next part, you have scheduled your meeting and the next part is to invite students to your meeting. So you go up here to meetings, okay? Now these meetings I have tomorrow with my own students, but this is the one we just scheduled now, okay? So in order for a student to get into your meeting, you need to send them an invitation. So what you need to do next, you need to copy invitation, which is right here. So I copy it. What I like to do is I like to paste it onto a Microsoft Word document like this. Okay, and you do not need all these different invitations. You simply just need the one up here near the start, which says join Zoom meeting. This is the link here that you need. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm simply going to copy this. And I have already made a Facebook group for my students. Okay for my Leaving Cert students. So basically what I do is I can now paste that link right there into their actual page and click post. Okay. Now I'm not actually going to click that now because I'll end up confusing them, but I just, here's one I prepared earlier. Okay. So for example, I did this exact process earlier. Tomorrow, Friday, Zoom class will start at 11.30. Install the free Zoom app on your phone and then click the link below at 
So for them to install it on their phone, it's quite simple. All they have to do is to go to the Play Store, put in the word Zoom, click Install, and then the app is on their phone. They don't need to do any of the background stuff we just had to do here as a host. And then in the morning, just at the time that you are logging into your meeting, the students just need to click that link on their Facebook group. But of course, that link can also be sent to an email address or to a WhatsApp group or whatever you want. Okay, so let's see what it's like to actually have a meeting then. Fine. So now imagine you've sent your invitation well in advance, you know, not just five minutes beforehand. Students know they have to be online at whatever time. So all you have to do from your side is click start. All right. Hi, everyone. So basically, first thing you need to do is test your speaker and microphone. I am wearing headphones here. OK, very cheap headphones. I got five euro in the euro shop. They are earbuds with a little mic. So the mic is right here next to me. OK, so I'm talking into this. I'm listening to this, but you don't need it in order for this to work. But I just prefer to have them on. So anyhow, no matter what, but are you using earphones or just the audio or the, the mic in your laptop, you need to test it. So this is what you do. Test speaker. Do you hear a ringtone? Yes. That means your headphones are working. Now you have to test your mic. Now you have to test your mic. OK, so okay. if you hear it coming back, it's working. You hear it coming back, it's working. So you click yes. Join with computer audio. Join with computer audio. OK, so now this is the start of your meeting. OK, I like to log in maybe five minutes before my meeting in case students are having any difficulties just to get used to it. So the, if you just scroll down here, there's like a, a ribbon menu and you can just click manage participants. OK, now at the moment, I'm the only participant, as you know, in the meeting. But it's very important that as the students start coming in, all their names and their pictures will start appearing down here as well. Grant. So now you need to see that there's two icons here next to my name. There is a camera and there is a mic. You need to see both of them opposite each student. Sometimes on the first day when students are logging in, the mic is missing. So what you need to tell them on their phones. Oh, my God, someone is just connecting to me. This is so weird. <laughs> this is quite interesting. This is so strange. I wasn't expecting this to happen, to be honest, at, at five past ten at night. Mm hmm. Right. Farrell is connecting to audio and can't hear you yet. I'm sure I might as well help her out now since we're at it. OK. This is exactly what will happen. You know, this is exactly what will happen. She can't hear you yet. So if I send her a message on Facebook now, Facebook Messenger, can't hear you. OK. I can't hear you. So click your screen and on the left there is a red microphone microphone click that click that let's see what happens live tv guys I don't see her getting any contact with me on this Facebook Messenger, but this is exactly what I've had to do each morning when I'm trying to get students used to Zoom. So it's quite interesting that this happened. Anyhow, I'll just leave it like that for the moment because I'm doing a video and I didn't expect it to happen, but it's good because don't expect it to go perfectly the first day or the second day. OK, so you can click on that and you can ask her to start the video. But also here I'm asking her to actually fix her audio, which she hasn't done. OK, so I'm just going to keep teaching now as if everything is normal. So imagine now you're getting loads of students in here. Lots of your class have appeared. You can click record. OK, so from this moment now, this whole lesson, this whole video is going to be recorded. And at the end, 
the recording saves to your computer and what you can do later is that you can upload that video to the Facebook group. So anyone who didn't make the live lesson on Zoom can watch it anytime they want. Okay, so imagine now I'm going to start teaching. So I am going to click share screen. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to share with you imagine is an English book. All right, so here we have an English book. Okay, and basically you can scroll up and down any page you want. And there is also an annotate um, device here where you could, for example, choose a highlighter and you could just do something like this, or you could circle a word, highlight a verb or something like that. And of course you can clear all of that. And you could also use a spotlight, you know, when you just want to say, now we're on number four and things like that. And exactly what you see, that's what students see as well. So that's if you wanted to share a textbook up to the green ribbon again and click new share anything else that you've opened on your computer for example here I have a PowerPoint presentation okay so you could just you know whatever you have already on your desktop open you could just share that with the students and of course they're seeing it in real time as well okay so you can go up here again new share Another great thing you could do is, for example, open Microsoft Word. Okay, Microsoft Word. Open Microsoft Word. Dear sir or madam, I am writing to apply for anything. I love Zoom. And the students are seeing this in real time. So basically, another thing you could share could be leaving certain exam papers. Yeah, so for example, here's your exam paper. Scroll up and down. I got from examinations.ie and have a look at questions again highlight things so that's really wonderful and then when you want to come back speaking directly to students you just click stop share so then you're back again talking to them like that okay so what happens then when you want to end the meeting okay so basically you get 40 minutes for the meeting and when there's 10 minutes left you get a message on your screen you have 10 minutes left for your meeting so what I normally do then is I tell my students, we're going to end the meeting now and we're all going to come back in 30 seconds. OK, so they just have to click that same link again that's on the Facebook group that got them in in the first place. So let me just show you how that would work. OK, so first I would stop the recording. OK, and of course the recording then will start converting and saving onto my computer which I can use later and then the next thing I would do is I would click end meeting end meeting for all okay as you can see now the meeting is starting to convert but you don't worry about that so basically I have two meetings every day kind of 30 minutes and 30 minutes or whatever as long as I don't go over the 40 anyway so all you need to do now you've just had your 30 minute meeting or class and you want to continue that meeting all you have to do is click start again okay and then one by one again join with computer audio you don't have to go through the audio settings anymore that's fine okay and manage participants one by one again you'll see your students coming back in so give them maybe two minutes for that as well and you click end meeting end meeting for all and that's it okay. and what I do then after that is I go back to the Facebook group okay and from my computer I can upload all the meeting that I had today okay that's it guys happy zooming